Hello, Elizabeth and Salvatore. I'm uh, in front of the 2037 Lipido Way listing out here in beautiful Stone Cliff. Just wanted to take you guys on a brief tour and hopefully you can get a pretty good idea through this 360 video what this property looks like. I'm a little bit partial to Stone Cliff. I think it's an awesome development. The HOA covers quite a bit. You have access to um, an outdoor pool, uh, several spas. There's also an exercise room and you have a 24 hour gate at the front door. Um, sorry, 24 hour guard at the front gate um, that looks over the place. So it has, at, at least you know where the HOA money is coming from. So I just entered the front courtyard of this home. Actually, let me go back outside. So you've got a side-by-side -side, uh, two and a one, I think. Yeah, it's hard to judge by my truck. It takes up the whole driveway, but you've got a two and a one car garage. Then you enter this property through the courtyard. It kind of guides you in. Now this home, just walking through it initially before I started recording this video, I think it has some really nice premium features, but small things like light switches and hardware, if you updated that, I think it would make a huge difference. So there's a, a fountain in the front courtyard that actually goes under your property and there's a window you could see it through from the inside. I thought that was a really cool touch and it goes all the way out into the back. Let's take a look inside. So it has nice open living room. I think it's kind of like a split design. Uh, if you look up at the ceiling in this room, if you just swipe up, it has uh, wood slats in the ceiling. And then as we go in this direction, you have a formal family room. And this property sits on the, on the rim of uh, Stone Cliff. Hopefully you can see these views through the windows, but your, your living room actually has some really, really nice views and it doesn't look so, you could kind of see the neighbor's rooftop from here. It's actually, this property sits above everybody else in that direction. So your views are hopefully protected by that. It has a nice large center island. Let's see. Looks like a, a general electric range split ovens and a microwave. Pretty looking countertops. And then you have uh, just a powder bath right off the kitchen. This door takes us back outside. There are like three or four points of entry into this house from uh, different access points outside. It has a good sized laundry room. And then this door, of course, takes us back out to the garage. And the garage looks like it has a decent amount of space in here. So this is for this side of the house. Then there's also a formal dining room on this side of the kitchen. and looks like maybe an office and a pantry. The pantry is also a good size. So now as we move across the house, you can kind of see the views on the left. Again, you can see them from the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, and these views, they kind of span all the way across your backyard. So remember the fountain I was telling you about outside? If you scroll down below, you will see the, the opening. There's actually a glass insert. Um, so I thought that was kind of neat. And it runs all the way back and across the property. Um, for some reason, they turned it off. I'm not sure why. I'm sure that it looks beautiful with the fountain turned on. 
So that takes us up to the master suite. The master suite is a really good size and it looks like I'll just stop right here so you can take in some of the views on this side. And of course you have um, a door that takes you out into your backyard right from your master suite. Master bath also appears to be a really good side. Size, you've got uh, his and her size, a jetted tub. This walk-in shower has two shower heads. And it's a pretty good size. And there's also a skylight. And there's a separate toilet room and the master closet is also pretty good size in this home. So we'll move back through the house to show you the rest of it. Directly across from the master, you have, I guess it's a bedroom, maybe yoga room, exercise room. It's got hardwood floors. Then it also has the wood slats across the ceiling. And all these plantation shutters um, look like they're in a really good condition. This room also has its own bathroom with a shower. There are so many rooms, it's easy to get lost in this house. This looks like the furnace closet. So this just has the heat pump. Um, here in Southern Utah, heat pump is a pretty common uh, setup for your heating and cooling system. So sometimes they go in the attic. Uh, this house has a fl flat roof, so they have a dedicated closet for it. Now there's another doorway to exit into your backyard or into your courtyard from here. And then this is another bedroom that has a full bath. Has a full bath with a bathtub and a pretty good sized closet. And then as we exit out of this bedroom, there's just one more closet on our way out. And this door will actually take us back out into the courtyard. <clears throat> like I was telling you, there's millions of ways to enter, re-enter, and exit the house. So this is the detached casita. I'll just stand right here so you kind of get the idea of uh, orientation. So as you walk into the main gate to access the property, to your left is the front door. If you turn to the right, there's another door on your left to enter the main property, but Right now, we're going into the detached casita. It's a really good size. It's like a one bedroom, fully sufficient apartment. So this is the bedroom. It's almost as large as the master actually. It has a kitchenette with the microwave. It does not have a cooktop but it also has a huge bathroom with stackable laundry set up, a walk-in shower, a walk-in closet, and its own independent heating and cooling unit. So it has its own furnace. It's completely detached from the house. It's like a, its own separate building. Okay, let's check out the backyard and take in some views off the back patio. I haven't traveled in this direction yet, so we'll see. So this is some of your side yard. Oh, maybe I locked myself out. I haven't opened this gate yet. Nope, we can get in, the gate is open. So you have a small patio in your side yard out there. And you can see that 
the way this lot is situated, we are literally roof level with your nearest neighbor. And if you peek over that roof, you have beautiful views of the city of Washington, Pine Valley, and it's just awesome to have that in your backyard unobstructed. The fountain that I was telling you about out front, it just runs through the property under um, the little corridor and into the back and it flows into this fountain. Looks like this may be the equipment for the fountain slash pond. And then you have your hot tub and the pool. This pool is not huge, but it's a really interesting geometrical shape. And you just can't beat these views. And then the rest of your pool equipment is back here on this side of the house. So this is the right side of the garage. I think it's definitely worth checking this one out when you guys come to visit. I can't wait to see you and go and take a look at some homes. Please let me know if you have any questions about this home or if you have any questions about this video. And I hope to hear back from you soon. Check out these views. I don't know if it gets any better than this. I'll, uh, I'll get up on the edge of the pool.